Hi there, it's Dan Beeston from MacTuts Plus, and today I'm going to teach you how to set up a template in a Pages document that allows you to edit and write scripts. Now here we have the beginning of a script, but it's a bit of a mess. What we really need to see in this script is the lines of dialogue separated and easy to distinguish. So first thing we want to do is open up our paragraph styles. Now there's a couple here that we don't need. We don't need footnote text, so right click and delete it. We don't need a caption, we can delete that. We don't need the header and footer, delete that. Replace it with the free form. We do, however, need to keep the body bullet. Because what is a script if it's not a list of dialogue? So we've got our title here and our first line of dialogue is a bullet point. Now, our bullet point isn't styled very well there and isn't separate from all the other lines of dialogue. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that bullet point to a name. The colon and a space. And we're also going to color that. We're going to color that purple. Now, the problem is that it's still a bit unordered and messy here. So we're going to increase the text indent to 1.5 centimeters. And there, your entire line of dialogue lines up nicely. It's still a bit close and difficult to distinguish. So we're going to add a couple of points to the beginning there and a couple of points after the line. And then we're going to color it. There we go. There is our line of dialogue. Easy to spot, easy to see. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to create a new paragraph style from this selection. We're going to name it layer. There you see it under paragraph styles and let's assign that a hotkey. That way we can change any line of dialogue just by hitting F1 and there you go. But of course the second line of dialogue is not our first character. So we select it, we change the name and the color triple click to select an entire line and change that color and now we've got a different color for a different character so we right click it we create a new paragraph style and we call that Han. Then select a hotkey for it. And now it's very easy to select that next line of dialogue for Han by just hitting F2. Want to write a new line of dialogue? Just hit Enter. Hit F1 for layer. And then away you go. At this point, we want a stage direction. So that's very easy to do. Jump up, change the colors again. And we're going to get rid of that text indent and put in some bullet indent that moves it closer to the center of the page. Now we want this obviously different from speech. So We'll just change the font to something a little bit more obvious. And of course, right click, create a new paragraph from selection, and call it Directions FX. And of course, set a hotkey. Here we need another character, a new color, set a new paragraph, or Chewy, and set a hotkey for it. Now whenever we need a new line of dialogue, just hit F1 for layer, F2 for hand, F3 for Chewy, or F4 for directions and effects. Now you might be just writing one script, 
But if you're using the same characters over and over again, then what you can do is delete all of your text and then save it as a template. Call it Stars and Prejudice. Now, when you start a new file, you can go down to My Templates and click that template and it's already set up for you. This has been Dan Beeston for MacTuts Plus.